This episode is presented by DoorDash. Use promo code SITWITHUS when you download the app for 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more. Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp and DoorDash for sponsoring this episode. Woo! <laughs> Let's hype it up. Let's give it up for the podcast. We are so scared here. right now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of You Can Sit With Us. I am one of your hosts. Becky, and I am joined by Matt, who's getting a phone call right now. Good morning. Is it the doggy dentist? <laughs> it is. The doggy dentist has arrived. Emergency. <laughs> Emergency. Emma has no teeth. Surprise. We've got Margaret here. Hello. We've got Rachel. Hi. Our podcast, Pixie and Pixette, Miles and Rainy. Ooh, we hype this morning. <laughs> the Rainy's noise is going to be like, shh. <laughs> rain <child. laughs> oh, speaking of rain, the girls, the LA children who what are three girls? years old, no, June and Poppy. <laughs> what girls? What the girls? girls. <laughs> it rained in LA last week. Uh-huh. Yeah. We walked outside and it had been raining and June goes, is that thunder water? <laughs> <And I was, laughs> <laughs> so yeah, LA kids. Yeah. Thunder water. Also sounds like a cocktail that you get at a hipster a bar. Yeah. Thunder yeah. water. I'm thunder petitioning. Water. New name for rain. Thunder water. Thunder water. <laughs> 100%. I feel like when it rained this time, we had like our patio furniture covered and there was like a puddle in one of the things and I had to tip it over and like I ran away from it like, <laughs> like, Living in LA like has like, of it. yeah, living in LA has made me forget what skeeter weather water. is. Yeah. yeah, it's well, skeeter water now. I think also, this was one of the first times it was hot rain too, because we're not used to hot rain. I went to a wedding and I was just like in spaghetti straps, but I didn't want to put a raincoat on because most of our raincoats here have down because we're oh, just used to cold. We don't have from, like thin raincoats for here. Yeah. Yeah. Winter rain. Winter. Winter rain. Yeah. We got raincoats for Vietnam and, uh, Apparently, everyone else got actual raincoats. We got fake raincoats from Uniqlo. Oh, um, no. So when it rained, they went fully see-through. No way. I mean, I was wearing proper undergarments, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it looked pretty hilarious. <laughs> when you're walking around so and you're just... You look pretty wet. <laughs> yeah, you guys looked wet the whole raincoats. trip. It didn't look like raincoats were working. You looked... <laughs> No, I mean, it was a mix of sweat, rain. It was a wet tears. Sometimes tears, depending on what the hike was like that day. <laughs> but your your skin was beautiful. Oh, oh just glowing. glowing. Yeah. Thriving. Glowing. Youthful. Yeah. Speaking of glowing things, you guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of glowing what? things, you know what glows for me? What? Rom-coms. Oh. oh. Rom-coms always brighten my day. They mm. make my day glow. Mm-hmm. Um, how often are you watching rom-coms in your life? Like when you're picking movies, how often are you like half the time, one all, out of 10? Almost only exclusively. Thing that shows up on your YouTube. <laughs> almost <laughs> exclusively. <laughs> almost exclusively rom-coms. I love a good rom com What about you, hoes over there? <laughs> <laughs> Says the one who like was like, we're seeing a horror movie tomorrow <laughs> last night. I yeah, want to know if I should see it. <laughs> yes, you should. Uh, they all saw a horror movie. I'm yes. not good at horror. Mags is not great at horror. No. Yes. But you see horror in the theater. At home, you, you watch a rom-com. Away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we saw a Barbarian last night. It just Spooky came out on Friday. Is approaching. Good one. It was very good. Mm-hmm. We can't yeah. tell you anything else about it. You got to uh, go in blind. No spoilers. Don't How? ask anyone. What, uh, you could read like how the many info ghosts? card. Ten ghosts? It. No ghosts. No ghosts. Not no. a ghost. I, movie. I meant like as a rating. Oh, it ten was out of ten. Mm, Eight out of ten. I thought it was like a seven out of ten movie overall, but yeah. I can't tell you what genre it is because I feel like it'll like ruin. Zombie. Is it? Don't go. <laughs> go in knowing nothing. Go in knowing nothing. Don't okay. look anything up. Is it mm. scarier or less scary than Get Out? It's com- it's different. Different. Very different. Different. I would say it's maybe like. Parasite Hereditary, really malignant. I don't think there's social commentary. What's the scariest at all. movie that you've seen that you're like, oof? 
Oof. Um, I feel like you're you have an anchor in there that you keep trying to compare something. To. I know, I know. Well, Parasite truly terrified me. Yeah. Um, mm. I was staying in an Airbnb in Palm Springs shortly after that, and there was a locked door. You know, they locked the utility <laughs> closet or whatever. Yeah. And I was there alone the first night <laughs> and the whole time. And there were big windows to the big backyard, and I was like, <sighs> <sighs> um. I literally didn't have like a glass of wine because I was like, I have to keep my wits about me in case. Oh my God. Stop. Oh my God. I get scared. I don't mind being scared while the movie's playing, but yeah. I hate being scared once it it's done. You. It haunts me. Yeah. I'm yeah. haunted. Um, I don't know. There's some other stuff that has scared me, but I don't even know what it was. There's different genres of scary movies. Mm -hmm. Like the first movie that I remember being really scared at was what lies beneath. I haven't seen that. I don't think I saw that. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a bit more of a thriller but go off go off yeah that's the one that i that i look back on i was like wow that was like scary like that was the first one that yeah. like it, you kept thinking about it afterward wasn't you it know? based on the robert durst yeah I, th oh. yeah I think i only saw clips of the conjuring during a video shoot but uh -huh. is that the one where the guy is standing by the crib and then he's gone and there's a baby that scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's yeah. That's um, like and country. sometimes it'll be like 4 a.m. One of the girls will cry out, <laughs> "Mama, come tuck me in," and I'll go and I just as I'm walking to their room, I'm picturing someone standing there, and Ew. it's like fucking with me. <laughs> Ew, I know. That's that's why horror. Horror. Um, I think Insidious is oh, oh, Insidious. I think I saw clips horror of that franchise. Too. I don't mm. because I, I love seen it uh, I love a franchise that can take a five minute scene and make thirty other movies about it. I mean, <laughs> whoever came up with that yeah. was just a genius. A genius. A genius. Genius. But I wouldn't say it scared me. I think are the they the franchise that use tiptoe? Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yes. It is. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I hate it. Oh yeah. What are the other it. creepy Jeepers Creepers has a creepy song uh, that'll yeah. scare okay. us forever. Hocus Pocus is my level of That is not scary. Are you excited <laughs> about the remake? They play that at El Capitan <laughs> <laughs> with like a bubble show. <laughs> I mean, I also grew up watching The Shining and I really like it. Ooh. It's pretty scary. Have you guys seen Don't Breathe? It is. That was no. like stressful that scary. Was so I was like my teeth stressful. were like my jaw was just oh. clenched the entire time. I don't like that kind of scary because I'm just like, I feel like my temples are like tight after I leave and everything hurts because I'm so <laughs> stressed. Yeah. I like that more jumpy. You like jump scares? Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jump scare, yeah. Ooh. I like jump scares in a movie, but I can't get myself to go to a haunted house because it's too real. <laughs> I jump too high. <laughs> yeah. Have any of you done the like universal thing? Because I saw a TikTok about it this year and those <laughs> creatures look thing. fucked up. <laughs> No, no, you went not a couple go? times. I did go to Hollywood Horror Nights. <gasps> How was it? It was pretty spooky. Um, <laughs> and did it you was see the pouring rain. So I was creature? sopping for the entire time. Oh, wow. That, that was spooky. really spooky in really the weekend. Scary. It was like weird proportions and it looked kind of bloody and it like kept Ooh. setting back on its like haunches in a weird way. It was in the weekend. You went? I just saw the TikTok. <laughs> oh my God. That but the scared. TikTok was scary. She it felt like she experienced it. Yeah. That was probably the biggest <laughs> scare of the, of the, of the whole lives. thing. Cause you're like walking in and you go in and essentially like there's like a wall on your right with like light on it. And so you're, you look to the wall and then in the corner of your vision, you see this giant figure lumbering towards you. That's oh. like nine feet tall. Oh, it was, very, it was really scary. It was very scary. That and sounds fun. Well done. Yeah. Well like, done. Well done. Nine feet's pretty tall. Yeah. I did the Walking Dead thing at Universal once when we were there mm -hmm. with friends a few years ago, and everyone else in the group was clinging on to me, and I was the brave one to walk first. You had to be and brave I was like, for everyone. Get else. it together, you guys. I was also pregnant at the time, and I felt like they were fully willing to sacrifice me. <gasps> so you think your babies okay. get scared when you get scared? Like, I think the whatever hormones you're producing, they get. So I think mm. if you are consistently like scared or stressed like or the cortisol. Um, it would definitely affect your infant. So like if you were in like a real life situation where you were scared all the time, like, I don't know, it gets really dark really quickly if I yeah. say that though. Um, but, but let's like, say it's a horror movie. Let's pretend that your pregnant belly was a horror movie. Could you like tap on your belly and be like, me, me, me. And the little babies would be like, ah. <laughs> like I scared them? No. You tap on your belly all the time and they tap back. You play a little music for them. Teepers, creepers. Where'd you get those? Peepers? I don't think I would scare them. 
They're wow. just like little worms in wow. amniotic sac. <laughs> They don't, don't know think so. You heard it here yeah. first. Babies can't get scared. Well, <laughs> <laughs> babies are unspookable. But I think if you were like stressed at your job day in and day out, those like oh, hormones yeah, would, would affect your unborn mm. children for sure. I think mm-hmm. if you get scared once, you're fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're fine. They're used to it. They're used to being scared. They're in a dark womb. Yeah. They're in a dark womb. <laughs> get it? Like room. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. You get it? Uh huh. You get Uh it? You guys love a rom com. Love a rom com. Um, (laughs) Let's get back to it. Why don't they make horror rom coms? They make one. Isn't that what Scream is? Fresh. Oh, yeah. I guess Fresh was a horror rom com. Fresh. Mm -hmm. Fresh was a horror rom com. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Yeah. I liked Fresh. Mm -hmm. I thought Fresh was actually, yeah, it was fresh. It was a new idea. (laughs) It was a fresh idea. Mm, Really stuck, huh? Because there's only one. Really stuck. Really stuck in your teeth. Mm hmm. Um, no, Scream is like a... It's like one of those teen movies, but horror. Yeah, they don't call it camp, but mm-hmm. similar. It's in a sh- similar genre of camp because it was self-aware. Yeah, I remember watching it as a teen and thinking it was an actual scary movie and then watching it 10 years later as an adult and being like, oh, no, it's a funny, scary movie. Mm-hmm. But at like 14, mm-hmm. whenever it came out, I didn't get that, you know? Oh, lit, lit, lit. Scary yeah. was scary. Mm-hmm. Lit, lit, lit. Scary was scary. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So rom coms. Do you have a favorite <laughs> rom com? Do I have a favorite rom com? Um, wow, what a beautiful question. Um, I really liked in recent times. Set it up on Netflix. Glenn Powell is mm. my very fine, very beautiful, fine. like fine, like fine, oh, like f o i n e. Another one did I like recently? You know what one I was surprised I liked? <laughs> Very surprised. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a girlfriend who just got into the union for being a makeup artist, and she worked mm-hmm. on A California Christmas. Mm-hmm. Stop. Sounds this bad. Sounds like, Netflix. Yeah, this mm-hmm. sounds, Good for her, but sounds bad. Like this, sounds like Hallmarky. Is, yeah, this it, is ha- it is horrible. It is <laughs> not a good movie. And you're mm-hmm. obsessed. But... The two leads did get married in the wow. time of filming in real life. And like for me, I'm like, you can't fake that chemistry, baby. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> you can't fake that girl. That's funny. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. What, what are your favorite rom coms? <laughs> Matt, I feel like you love rom coms. You I just exude rom coms. Like, I can't even look like, at your sweater. I, I don't think I can look even name five rom coms. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie off the top of my head. I have a hard time naming things yeah. out of thin I do too. air. All right. How to lose a guy in 10 days. Classic. Uh, that's Kami. classic. That's yeah. my best I mean, friend's I like favorite. So I've seen it a lot. Yeah. Are good. Like, you know what I. I'm married, you know, all this. Yeah. Just. Uh, what one? What's it called? There's something about Mary. Something about Mary. Something about something Mary. Mary. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, that's a good one. I You've just. You've got mail. Sleep this in Seattle. There we go. There yeah. you go. I feel like you, you've got mail and like sleepless in Seattle are like very dramatic. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they're you good, like the he, Tom Hanks, you like Meg anything Ryan with Tom combo. Yes. Yeah, the you know that I feel like that era is like they you peaked know, in where, the nineties. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what one I love? You know what one is really good? What? It's a Nancy Myers movie. Which um, one? Home Again. Oh my god. <laughs> Reese <laughs> Witherspoon. Oh yeah, yeah, These yeah. Three the hottie body bo- hottie bo- body boys the, like glass. Yeah. Oh no, gosh. no. That's that's sweet home, home Alabama. Alabama. Okay, which one's you home crazy again? girl? Home Nancy. Again is the one where Reese Witherspoon has these like three writer boys stay at her house and they're all like oh, I have not very hot this. and she starts sleeping with one of them. But then the other two just like improve her life in a different way. Oh. And they all learn something So from they're each in other. like a quadruple. No, no, no. Only two of them are boning. Oh, okay. Mm. Only two of them okay. are boning. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But Sweet Home Alabama, I would say, is probably one of my favorite rom Love toms. Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. Why you want to marry me? So I can kiss you anytime I want. Mm. That's very mm. cute. Have you seen that one, Rainy? <gasps> Rainy! Rainy. Start a list. You must. You must. I haven't seen it. You will love. I love Reese Witherspoon. I love Free Hot Men. <laughs> no, well, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. home again. Watch that's both of them. Again. Watch both of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama is the one with lightning and where he says... That's what so I could kiss you anytime I want. Mm-hmm. And then Home Again is like more of like an adult Nancy Myers, like feel good, mm-hmm. beautiful home movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
I like that Christmassy one too. It's so dumb with Sarah <gasps> Jessica holiday. Parker. The holiday where oh, they, the where holiday. they switch really houses. Nice. No, I'm talking about oh, the family. You, oh, the family stone yeah. is. N- <laughs> if you're going to go watch the family stone tonight, no, it is very dramatic. You will be crying. Yeah. Um, it is. So that's like recommending someone watch Stepmom as a feel good movie. Okay. Stepmom <laughs> is another step in another direction. And these are the more dramatic but ones. Yes. What are the more comedy ones? Like Meet the Fockers, or, right? <laughs> Meet that a Rockers. Rock. Yeah. Is that a Rockers? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, the, right? the Holiday, I think, yeah. is like mm-hmm. a perfect movie. Whoa, perfect. perfect. Name something wrong with the holiday. I dare you. Perfect. Miles, I dare perfect. you. I love the holiday. Thank you. <laughs> I watched it with Zach for guilty peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, Jack Black could get it. A hundred percent. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. He can move. He can, <laughs> then can wiggle. That man can wiggle. He's nimble. <laughs> He's in his hot face. You know, sometimes you're just too tired after getting home from work and you really are starving for food. That's when I turned to DoorDash. It has saved me on multiple occasions because I've been so hungry at home. I ordered pizza and it was just the best pizza I've had in my entire life. Did you guys know that along with the restaurants you love, you can also get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash? You can get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. Every time you place an order for pickup or delivery, you're setting off a chain reaction that helps give back to people who make your neighborhood unique. With DoorDash, you're not just getting the things you love, but supporting the community you love too. From the stores and restaurants to the Dash actually driving around. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code sit with us. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code sit with us. Don't forget, that's code sit with us for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. Here at You Can Sit With Us, we absolutely love therapy. These have been some very trying times we've been going through the last couple years, and it's just nice to get a different opinion. We use BetterHelp, and we absolutely love it. You can FaceTime your therapist, you can call them, you don't have to like pop on a screen. I know I always used to get really insecure in thinking that I had to do my hair or put my makeup on. Um, And it's nice that it could just be really convenient and easy with BetterHelp. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists anytime. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash sit with us today and get 10% off your first month. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash sit with us. I love a goofy guy that goes into hot like quickly. Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Would you never have say. guessed. Okay. <laughs> Would never have guessed. <laughs> The goofy to hot pipeline is very short for me. Very short. We're even saying, um, what's his name? Oh, and the character's name was Keith in Barbarian, uh, Bill Skarsgård. Yes. I was like, he's so goofy looking, but like really hot. And I I, I pull up a picture of him doing the Pennywise without makeup on. I was like, Becky, this looks like Keith. (laughs) (laughs) Keith. She's got a tight... She got oh, a type. It's good She's to know your type. type. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. live, laugh, love. You're consistent. How am I yeah. supposed to live, laugh, love in these conditions? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Margaret, what yes. is your favorite yeah. rom-com? You seem like a rommy commy girly whirly to me. I do like rom <laughs> You can't say trolls. 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 trolls is a Stop. rom-com. With She's like, going to be like no. monster-in-law. <laughs> J-Lo uh, made in Manhattan <laughs> I like the style of 500 Days of Summer but it's actually a very sad story in the end yeah rom-coms are what's dark what's the crime the, the notebook that's not a rom-com <gasps> I love the notebook what is it though. 
That's the notebook is drama. ball your eyes yeah. out genre. Yeah. Do you guys want to know? Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen the notebook. <laughs> <laughs> As a former Nicholas Sparks aficionado, uh-huh. do you know how the book ends? No. no. They Fire. bone and they die. Um. <gasps> they have sex? They bone. One last time? And then they die. How, mm-hmm. how do they die? Is that how you want to? Oh, no, sorry. They bone and they don't die. They bone and they don't die. They die in the movie. They don't die in the book. Okay. In the book, they're not dead. There is a sequel. I oh. just lied. I lied. I oh, lied wait. to everyone. I'm so, so they sorry. just have sex. Becky's apology. <laughs> <laughs> they have sex they have in the sex. nursing home? Yeah. Oh. And it's like a little more detailed than you want it to be. Oh. Um, no shade to like old people who have sex. No. I know what I happens. Mean, good for them. Oh, yeah. Good for you. Um, yeah. yeah, but they do not die in the book. There is a sequel. I think it's called like The Wedding or like The Marriage. And it's about one of their kids getting married. Oh. Huh. Must not be too good of a story because they didn't make it. Into That's a movie. true. Yeah, and you know they, <laughs> they would decided have capitalized to capitalize on that instead, of, instead, of, instead of making a sequel. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, I would Ouch. say that's like drama, but is that your favorite rom com? When Harry Met Sally. No, I was just trying to. <gasps> oh, when Harry okay. Met Sally is so classic. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. A love, mm-hmm. a must love. And Keith just ate everything at the menu from Katz's. Oh, yeah. When oh, yeah. we were in New Katz's York. Though, so yeah. that's pretty cool. Coming up. Yeah. Spoiler alert. It was hard. And the room was about 80 degrees while we were filming. Mm. Yeah. The AC didn't work in the room, which we all kind of knew. But then once we put a bunch of people, a bunch of lights and a bunch of pastrami sandwiches in it, it got worse. A lot of hot meat. So much hot meat. I mean, that just what keeps it fresh, you know, like under the heat lamp. Yeah. (laughs) But we were the heat lamp. Yeah. 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 Same temp I feel like that's being, mm. you know, conscious for the environment, yeah, yeah, using yeah. your own body oh. heat instead mm-hmm. of electricity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And while we were filming, there was a girl in the room next door going through a very terrible breakup. And oh, we could yeah. hear every word. It's not in the video. But um, we ran out to the hallway because she was screaming and because we wanted to make sure she wasn't being, like, hurt. <laughs> So we were like listening at the door. She was screaming that loud that we were like, is someone with her? Like but we eventually call? determined she was on the phone. Is this, is this an episode from Murders in the Building? Murders in the Building. Only Murders in the Building. I think if someone had been in there, we would have like made someone come open the door because like it sounded like she was being like hurt, hurt. But I think she's being hurt, hurt. Uh, <laughs> Rachel is holding her heart at this moment for Double those hurt. listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's looking longingly into the microphone. Mm-hmm. She's a single tear has been shed. She <laughs> is falling asleep now. She has <laughs> fallen asleep. Rachel is asleep. <laughs> um, anyway, that's the yeah. that's the drama behind Katz's Eat the Menu. And you know we were excited that drama wasn't it when Harry met Sally. What a beautiful film, Maggie. Yeah, yeah, great. yeah. Love a Meg Ryan moment. Mm-hmm. She was cool. She, she was pulled cool off back more hairstyles than anyone else. Rainy, yeah, you she, remind me of Meg Ryan. Mm-hmm. Oh, you do have big Meg Ryan energy. She's, she's just, in. Rainy oh. just motioned to Miles, like, <laughs> give me the mic. <laughs> One time in freshman year, somebody told me I looked like Meg Ryan, and then I was going to get a haircut, and so I went to the salon, and I was like, hey, like, this is the picture. I showed her a picture of Meg Ryan, and she was like, yeah, like, Meg Ryan has a perm, so I can't cut your hair and have it look like that, but I can just cut your hair short, and I was like, okay, and then... I was one of the biggest regrets I've ever had. Really? <laughs> it did look good. Why didn't she offer, short. like, do you want a perm? I know. That was weird. I, I <laughs> did she not yes. do perms? Like, uh, yeah. like help <clears throat> scaffold out the steps for me to achieve right. this thing. Don't yeah. just say, I'll just cut it short for you. Yeah, exactly. And I think I was like, oh, well, I my hair is, like, kind of curly. Like, maybe when I cut it, it'll be less heavy and it'll curl up. And she was just like, you're delusional. But, like, I honestly, it's the end of the day. Like, I I, I'll, I don't know. This time. person <laughs> did not care about her job. Yeah, yeah, I did not feel cared or seen or loved by that oh. hairdresser. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Give us no. her name, Rainy. Give me your name. <laughs> First and last. Wait, I'm going to find her. Say the salon. <laughs> I don't even. I still get emails. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Here we go. Rainy's printed out the emails and like framed them as a reminder. And every time she gets her hair cut now, she's like, never again. <laughs> never again. Never again. They say you need a perm, you get a perm. Yeah. Be strong. Yeah, no, hairdressers need to communicate properly. Like once I showed a picture to a colorist and she came back out with something that looked wrong. And I just, it was like a normal red picture, but it was like a lot blonder than usual. Mm -hmm. And she came out and I was like, what is in there? And she was like, well, we're going to have to bleach it first to get this color. And I was like, no, 
that's not what I wanted. We have to talk about that. Oh, thank God I asked. She was like, well, it's very light. So if you want to do, I was like, no, no, no. Let's just do something a little lighter. I didn't want to bleach it. Mm. That's very like, brave of you to say something. Yeah. Oh. Like that is brave. Because you get socially awkward and you're like, yeah, just do it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, if someone shaved expert, my head right? off and like murdered Keith in front of me at the salon, I would be like, thank you. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> you would still tip 20%. I would still tip 20%. I would be like, this has been the best day of my life. And I'll, yeah, I'll buy some shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've done it with I, getting my nails done I before. I relate to that so hard. I'm like, I cannot. I the can confrontation never. I do get that. a color oh I hate yeah. and I'm like, thank you but that's just my I've gotten my hair dyed a lot now and I know it looks like this purpley color and this was not purple and so I was like what is that and I just showed the wrong picture I was like you got to tell me what I showed you I thought it was same same only lighter she was like no this person bleached their hair and then they dyed it and I was Mm -hmm. like we can't I used to bleach my hair I was like we can't go there again it all falls out Mm. yeah Yeah. no more hair it all falls no more hair no more hair I'd like I would like to keep my hair thank you Yeah. yeah I'm same. Thanks. Same. Have any of you ever bleached your hair? Technically, yeah. I just got highlights and they bleached it, but it's like very, they took like such tiny pieces of hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it was really tangly for a long time. Yeah, because it changes they, like, the texture. Killed it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's bleach. <laughs> when I bleached yeah. it all the way and it was platinum, like, when I washed my hair, it felt um, gummy, not like mm-hmm. normal. Oh, which, crunchy. No, gummy. No, it feels it's like, like it's like they have like denatures of proteins in your hair. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. something. I mean, in it. it's yeah. not it's not good for your hair, but it looks. They also dope. teased it a lot <laughs> when they were doing it. So like my hair was like a burst. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. they do that. They could paint to it mine in. when yeah. they highlight it. I bleached. I permed. I've chopped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've done it all. If you're gonna do a color, like a color color, what would you do? If I was gonna do a color color. Probably some sort of like lavender. I could or see like a lilac. I was gonna yeah. say like gray. I feel like you'd, your, your skin eyes. tone would look good with like a gray. <gasps> yeah. It's because my like mom a, looks so beautiful. Yeah. She her does. Gray hair. Yeah. Yeah. Kim. 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 I just have like salt and pepper. I just have a little pep salt on top. You know what I mean? I yeah. wouldn't know if I have that or not because I just dye it all away so fast. That yeah, I'll never know. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to yeah. know. The world will never know. <laughs> the world will never know. <laughs> never know what you look like. Matt, have you ever dyed your hair? I've never Feller? dyed fully blonde, but I've done like highlights. <gasps> you did mm-hmm. tips. I don't remember. Did in sync tips. Did you do I it in the in sync era? Guy Fury tips. I wish. No, it was like five, maybe five, six years ago I did it. But I have gotten lots of perms. I love Matt. Oh, with is your perm. hair straight? Perms. Yeah, my hair is pretty straight. And then you perm it, and it gets. Yeah. Do you you and Eugene do perms together? No, because his, his hair he does like the crazy Korean perms where they put mm. like the electric rollers in, and it really just like. <clears throat> wow. Where I can't, my hair would definitely just like break. You know, yeah, just fall I have off to get the, the. Do you get bigger curls then, or like how does your perm differ from his? Well, no, because his, they use, they like hook him, they like plug him into the wall. Oh, the, yeah. The rollers like, like plug into the wall stick. and it's like electric. So the key oh, wow. is like really strong on they it. They plug him where, into where, the For wall. me, they do like the old lady perm where it's just like the old, you <laughs> yeah. know, regular roller. Ah, okay. So that's what I had. Yeah. My hair is like kind of wavy. It was curly when I was a kid. What would happen if I got a perm now? Would it do it? Yeah. Perms, yeah, perms yeah. have a, like advanced in the years so that they're mm-hmm. not the perms of our youth. Like yeah. I got my perm when I was like 16, I think, mm. and it looked not good. Um, <laughs> I would I would say not great. Um, but now you can get like a perm that's not quite as bad for your hair mm-hmm. and they can control whether, it not, yeah. whether or not it looks like Meg Ryan's hair or mm-hmm. if right, it just right, looks right. like... Rainy's hair, I've like a California even wave. Considered oh, getting a perm. Yeah. Well, it depends. Like the tighter the roller is, mm-hmm. you know, because it kind of falls over time. It kind of starts mm. to go back to your natural. So the smaller the roller, the tighter it is, the longer kind of mm-hmm. it kind of lasts too. Oh. I'm I'm perm curious. Should we go get perms? Let's all get yeah. perms. Should we go get a perm? Miles, you want to perm? Let's go get a perm. Perm, perm day. <laughs> oh, Dad's I first perm. Perm day. <laughs> Dads get perms. Dads, Dads get, get perms. perms. <laughs> How about friends get perms and we all go? Okay, dope. I'm definitely, because my hair was curly as a kid, but it's not curly anymore. Hmm. There's this, this is not hmm. sponsored. This is just me stalking someone on Instagram. But um, I think it was like Sabrina Carpenter got a perm recently. And there's this oh. new thing called like cult curl. Hmm. 
and they okay. like mm. did this like California perm, but it like looks like shit when you first get it done. Like wow. TBH, yeah. it's because it really dries your hair out. I'm does, so sorry, yeah. it did not turn my volume off on my phone. Um, my bad, that was me. I'll follow her real quick so that I can look up perms. Well, I only hang out with you guys, so that's fine. We'll just not take any photos per yeah. use. It just looks like dry right after you get it done and like mm. kind of messy, but like mm. I feel well, like a also good moisture wash mask. It. Yeah. You can't wash it? For a while, yeah. Have you not Did seen you see the other Blonde? beautiful rom-com Legally Blonde? Hello? Hello? <laughs> it's been You'll a minute. You'll deactivate the sodium type goggles. <laughs> I guess I yes. don't remember that part that well. Do it again. You can't wash <laughs> it. Do love it's like when you dye blonde. your hair. You don't okay. wash it for like as long as you can yeah. to try and keep it. The other oh, thing is I like wash the mine the next like... morning to try and get all the immediate yeah. color out. I'm like, I wash oh, it right away. Well, the toner that goes on it is like really intense. So I try to get that off right away. Mm. Like I just paid all this money for this. So I'm just going to like wash, just gonna it, wash it. Just like wash my money down the drain. Yeah. So do you no. also take like 20s into your shower and just shove them in the drain? <laughs> 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 but the my colorist is like, yeah, you can wash it tomorrow morning, get the toner out, and then it'll be like the color you like. Hmm. I feel like rule of thumb, if you get anything done, it's always like don't get it wet for 24 hours. Yeah. Facials. Oh, yeah. All the oh, things. Yeah. Eyelashes. Oh, yeah. Well, that uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, perms perm. stink as much. Yeah, it does said. smell. And then, you know, after you wash it the first time, whatever, it doesn't smell. But then when it gets wet again, then it, it smells, smells again. Smell it. Yeah. Ooh. I remember I got my perm and it was when Jergens came out with the lotion self-tanner mm-hmm. that they still have. Yeah. I smelled like... Burnt. So <laughs> I smelled like burnt. So yeah. yes. <laughs> like I smelled like chemicals. There was no part of your body that was not covered in chemicals. chemicals. Yeah. No, so I was just lightly orange and had like crunchy hair. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your glory days. Yeah, I don't know why I'm it. picturing my hair so beautiful and full with a perm. There's no reason for me to believe that it would turn out great. Yeah. And it does give horrible. you a lot of volume. It gives you volume. And yeah. when you like, let's say you're going to blow dry your hair, do something to it, mm-hmm. it'll help your hair. That's why I got my perm because it would mm-hmm. help my hair hold a curl. Because oh. I didn't have curly hair in high school. I just think I need something to look forward to in life. Rachel, let's, let's go, go get, get perms. perms. Okay. Okay, I'm in. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. I want to watch perms. I'm getting married soon, so I don't want to do something. Too I really crazy. don't think you should get a perm. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> yeah, I think I should get a perm, but I'm it here for you. It is not no. the time to experiment. I know. Talk no. to me early <laughs> next year. Yes, Honey, for the honeymoon. <laughs> for the honeymoon. For the honeymoon. Honey- honeymoon, honeymoon, honeymoon perm. Honeymoon perm. <laughs> a honeymoon perm. It's like who's what's this? this? <laughs> what's <laughs> only if Zach gets one too? <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that hair is expensive, Rachel. No one's touching it. He would fall off. He would look like Jay Timberlake. What's the um like weirdest or like not weird, but like most fun treatment you've ever done? Like whether it was mm. your hair or your skin or like, have you guys mm. ever done like most a vampire facial? Or- <laughs> oh my God. I don't have the money for that, but I would. Yeah. Like something like I would that. would love mm. to do a vampire facial, but Ooh. I or don't like have that so placenta on your face. Oh, wow. I, I had a, I had two placentas and I did nothing with them. I threw them out. Idiot. Uh, Where are they? Idiot. Idiot. In the Idiot. landfill? <laughs> I know. Into a landfill? I don't know. Medical waste. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I, They're probably if, if that wasn't my I job, empire. Mags, the hospital dealt with that. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I just birthed them. I did not take ownership of them after <laughs> that. Mm-hmm. I took should ownership take care of their It sounds, sounds like you, they were stolen from you. That's what I'm <gasps> they were taken from me and I should have been rubbing them on my face. Um, That's right on the street. Or you're supposed to like eat it in a pill. You can have someone dehydrate and you can take the pills. I have friends who did that. I just, you know, I was like hemorrhaging and Poppy was in the ICU. So you had extra blood to give. Wow. No, I just like. I'm just kidding. I was trying not to die, Becky. I was just trying not to die. You had like a hard time afterwards. I had a really hard time. Then I need emergency surgery a week later. Poppy went back into the NICU. Like I had a rough go. We were all just trying to stay Alive, yeah. but do you think if you would have eaten your placenta, it would have like happened. sped up your healing? No. Yeah, I feel like it would be like <laughs> you know you'd be like a Viking warrior. Yeah, um, you just like have all the energy and be like scream. healed. Maybe I couldn't have even digested battle. my placenta yeah. without my gallbladder. We don't know how hard is it to digest. I don't know. I, I mean, wonder it's how just fatty like it is. Blood. Yeah, it's just blood. Mm-hmm. Vampires do it all the and time. Tissue. Tissue. Yeah. What's your favorite vampire movie? Um. <laughs> True Blood, you dirty girl. (laughs) Actually, I think mine might be True Blood too. I watched all of True Blood. Yeah, True Blood was great. Mm. Twilight. But that's not a movie that's a show. Iconic. Iconic. 
I mean, as a teen, I watched a lot of Buffy Vampire Slayer. Ooh, Buffy's mm, oh, classic. Buffy was so good. So good. So mm. good. I really liked a movie called Vampire Academy, mm. which was a fave. It was with, uh, what's her name? Who was just in, what's her name's daughter? She's a nepotism baby, but she's like you know, what's her a name? nepotism baby for good. What's you her know, name? what's her name? The nepotism. What's, <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? <laughs> the lady from Switched at Birth and from Some Kind of Wonderful. She was like an... Becky, She's older now. You know, Rebecca, that's not a good game for me, Becky. I can't remember. Rebecca, <laughs> would you say you've seen all the movies? No, you've there's some movie I haven't seen, know. but I would say I've seen a lot. I would say you've seen every movie I've ever heard of and a lot I haven't. And her memory, like Probably. your retention is yeah, that's so true. Your retention retention is strong. Strong. I'm telling you, it's if you choose in like eighth grade to stop. <laughs> Learning math, you and make retaining a life math, yeah. which I can tell you, eighth graders out there, you're not going to use it. They're, you're bare, unless you want to be like an architect. So choose movies. So choose movies, and you'll be cooler. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be able uh, to math is cool, Becky. Friends. Math is cool. <laughs> yeah, able, it's only cool Becky when British ruining, people talk about it. Maths. Ruining the youth, <laughs> one comment at a time. Maths. Yeah, I yes. wish I actually do want to ruin our youth. I feel like that would be great. Mm. No, they. they <laughs> yeah. No, I feel like that'd be great. They got it together. It's fine. I know. They're more together than we are. Yeah, they are, and I applaud them, and um, that's fine. What's your favorite movie about the youths? About the youths? Oh, Trolls. <laughs> Not trolls. Take every, the youths. I take every opportunity to about talk about the Trolls movie. About My favorite the youths. movie like a sex education. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> yes, Matt. <laughs> Matt did Me. raise his hand when he Me. wanted to answer for those listening. <laughs> sex education, I think, is a perfect show. It's good, right? Yeah. It's so good. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Uh, I just watched Love Island now. Oh my that God, like, what are you doing at home? Taking care of babies? <sighs> All the time. Oh my God. <laughs> All the time. This is actually her 20th time watching Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put sex education on your show. Okay. It's yeah. good. I'll list on it. your yeah. list. It's what's, on my list. What's your favorite show or show or movie about the youths? Because you are about the youths. You are you and Matt are a little, shall we say, more experienced than Maggie and I in life. In terms oh, of she's gone years. Old. Digits. Old. in terms of digits. where you were going, you might be experienced in digits. You might have we're a different uh, TV show frame of mind than yeah. Maggie well. and I have. Jesus, Becky. <laughs> Just what? like based on like, we're not what? that much older than Becky you. Becky and I were watching based like on fairly on how many you have in your forehead. <laughs> um, I think you've seen, seen more than me. Matt, when was color and TV invented for you? <laughs> like, do you remember? Um, do you guys remember, remember Life Before it, the like Telephone? When I turned seven. <laughs> do you remember the talkies <laughs> when the talkies started? Uh, uh, I don't know a movie about the youth though. I'm having a hard time. Like, like a coming of age. Coming of age. Yeah. Like stand by me. Oh, or movie. Or, stand yeah. by me. You ever you know. find a dead body somewhere and take your friends She's to look like at it? She's like Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> <laughs> the Aristocats. Oh, good movie. Yeah. I don't know. I'm coming up blank. You'll have to answer it for me. I don't know. Uh, I don't I have don't a know. favorite movie about the youth. Or show. I'm just show. too old. Euphoria. Euphoria is a Miles. Miles. I never watched I was it. About to say Miles. Miles. Euphoria. Nice. That's not nice. what the youth are doing. No, they're doing realistic. realistic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I ate the microphone. <laughs> Miles, you are our problematic queen. <laughs> Thank you. We stand. <laughs> Miles, what's your most problematic TV show that you watch? Probably 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> like, if I really true, think about yeah. it, I watched every single second of it, and I loved it. And did by the way, Becky did too. I, I loved Becky it. Did <laughs> too. <laughs> Becky watched it all did. too, and I we did. talked about it. Don't try to get out of this. It. Becky and I would come and be like, "Oh my god, did you see what they did to Hannah?" No. So this is what I did: is I watched up until a certain scene that happened in season to one. The bad kid. No, no, no. Season. I think it was like the end of season two or season three. The thing in the bathroom. That's a lot of seasons. Oh, yeah. So I was yeah. really, yeah. I was like deeply, <laughs> deeply disturbed by that. It's but, a disturbing show. Yeah, but I didn't, much like Game of Thrones, I don't like not knowing pop culture. So I would read episode <laughs> recaps. <laughs> you have to be up to date. Yes. So that I knew what was going on. And then when the show ended, yeah. I read a full synopsis so wow. that I could be socially aware. And to be clear, <laughs> I don't think anyone under 30 should watch the show. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay. Absolutely not. If you're a child, do not watch it. Um, Selena Gomez, this is your this is your one mistake. Also, Selena Gomez. This is I, your I one. technically can't watch that show. I'm not 30. Oh, me neither. 
<laughs> what show? Miles is like, you shouldn't watch it if you're under 30 and yeah. me and Miles are under are 30. <laughs> we broke the rules. Yeah. <gasps> it's just like, uh, it shouldn't, it's, yeah, it's not for high schoolers, I don't think. No. Even though, like, obviously, if you're in high school, I'm sure I would want to watch it, but it's problematic. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of problematic. Yeah. I it's, didn't watch it. I didn't watch all of Don't watch one. I watched watch a couple. Trolls. Okay. Uh, watch <laughs> Trolls with a door. Yeah. <laughs> Why, what was the show that you shouldn't have watched, Mikey? Probably the start of 13 Reasons Why. Probably euphoria. We're gonna look back on and be like, "That was not good." <laughs> what a what a time to be alive. Mm. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that had controversies on it. I didn't watch either of those, so I'm the I didn't watch either You're of the those clear. either. I'm, I'm feeling like my clear. reference for youth when I was still kind of young was Gossip Girl. Once upon Ooh. a time, also love Gossip Girl. Although so you are obsessed with the reboot then. Problematic. I didn't watch the reboot. Problematic um, show. Yeah, it is. It like is. when I look back on it, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. But I was living in New York at the time and I was like, I, I was into it. That's true. I was also yeah. into Sex in the City at the time, which is obviously not about the use. <gasps> uh, but yeah. then I rewatched it all when I moved to New York and was like, oh, how fun, how cool. I recognize everything. Um, also, highly problematic when you look back. You're like, mm, yeah. this yeah. ain't it. Some spots the other. <clears throat> Are not. Nope, mm, not yeah. of the okay. Culture moves. Um, I have yeah. thought of one. Pretty Little Liars. Oh yeah, mm. I loved you were Pretty obsessed. Little Liars. I, I was you old did. obsessed. You were obsessed. Watching sure. clips now with Ezra and Aria, which was a teacher and a student who do then. Mm. I think it was Matt that I recently, or maybe it was Eugene. I was like, yeah, they got married, and Eugene was like, what? <laughs> they got married? Yeah, a teacher and a student got married eventually on the show. And when I tell you in college, I was rooting for them. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, yes, I was like, they're in love. And now as an adult, I'm like, if my children ever no. watch a show like this, I will burn the TV. <laughs> it is not a message That's the youth bad. should have. Yeah. Not at all. <gasps> but you also don't have to let your children watch everything at every age. No, that's You can true. protect them. Yeah. Timing's for a bit. important. So June and Poppy will not be watching Pretty Little Liars with Aunt Becky this year. One day they'll Maybe be watching year. Love Island with Mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Their less problematic show. <laughs> Love Island. Uh, they the can circle. watch Love Island with Mama. <laughs> the circle. They can watch the circle. <laughs> I feel like Love Island has problematic <clears throat> characters, but it's a very like realistic show show in terms of reality shows because Rainey's here's giggling why. in the corner Rainey, by the way giggle away, Rainey. <laughs> um, here's why they're just there to like see if they like each other and when they leave they're just probably dating and maybe boyfriend and girlfriend it's not all this bachelor bullshit of like 50 women get one married. guy we're yeah. gonna get married right away after mm -hmm. engaged the love and I stopped dating someone else two seconds ago this is more like there are almost equal numbers of us. We're all going to date. We might switch some partners in the beginning, especially like switch around. We find each other and maybe a few of us will leave here boyfriend and girlfriend. I think it's like, mm. do they it, bone on the show? They do bone, but that is also approached like kind of healthily. Like they, um, like sometimes there's, uh, Every once in a while, like very randomly, the show will be like, someone can go to the hideaway and that's where they get alone time. But otherwise they're all in a room together, <sighs> which is like very dorm style. And they'll be under the covers and they're still filming it. And you can tell whatever's going on. And then the next day they get together with the guys and the girls and each season, different um, metaphors come up. So they'll be like, were you playing ball last night? And the guy will be like, well... Coach put me in, but the team didn't hit any home runs or whatever. Or the girls will be like, <laughs> they speak in code. They speak in code. Is it, is it hetero? It's fully hetero? I didn't, yes. not air quotes, but hetero. <laughs> like like this. As I accidentally did air quotes. heterosexuality <laughs> exists, yes. which we're unsure of, <laughs> then yes. Okay. It is. Um, <clears throat> so what do you think about that show? What's the show called? Related in Dating? What is that show called? What? Oh, that new, new one. one. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was it. that they were actually going to be related and trying to date. And I was like, what has happened to no. TV? But it's actually just like siblings helping each other find love. Oh, oh that yeah. clickbait title is off-putting. Yeah. Off-putting or... Off-putting. Clickbait. I gotta <laughs> see, I gotta see. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't seen it. Anyways, I like lo Love Island's approach to I sex. I like love. I like, I like love. Love, <laughs> love Island like is love. love. Like in terms of sex though, it's pretty healthy in that like 
they're sharing a bed and they're like, no, at first. And then eventually they're doing some stuff and they're like excited to talk about, it. but like actual having sex doesn't really happen until the end or you don't know about it, like are very rarely. And I don't know. It just seems kind of like titillating, but it. not slut shamey. I don't know. There's mm-hmm. very little shame. But it anything? feels very realistic. One couple who the public votes on at the end can win 50,000 pounds. Wow. Okay, babes. Okay, okay babes. babes. Okay, babes. <laughs> okay, babes. <laughs> Honestly, you forget about that part till the very, very end, though, because it's not really ingratiated into the show that much. Mm. Mm. You Nobody's would like it. You Becky would like it. Becky enters the no. villa. Yeah. Hot new bombshell <laughs> enters, enters the, the villa. villa. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's all I know uh-huh. about the show. <laughs> uh-huh. It's a TikTok sound. Yeah. You got it. Yep. That's why I know it. That's you got it. You just like it for the accents, is my hearing. Basically. I mean, I do watch with closed captioning on like an old lady because the accents are so thick that I really can't understand. And a lot of the lingo's yeah. different Sometimes. enough that without yeah. the closed caption, oh, you'd yeah. be lost. You'd be mm-hmm. like, their new thing is I'm gonna deep it. I'm what gonna deep mean? it. <gasps> That means like think deeply about it oh. and get. A- I, 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 I'm gonna I, say it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Becky. my mind went elsewhere. <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> if you were like, hey, what kind of video should we make with the tri wives soon? I'd be like, mm, I'm gonna deep it and get back to you. Mm. Like, I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> mm. For those listening, Becky's eyes are wide. She's shaking her head. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Um, wow. Wow, babes. Wow, babes. Wow, babes. Wow, babes. Wow, babes. What's the difference between a pound and a quid? Huh? There's no yeah, difference. It's the, the same. same. Yeah. A pound and a quid? Yeah. Three quid. <laughs> Two pound. Is it like bucks and dollars? Yeah. Bucks? <laughs> yeah, bucks, bucks and dollars. Bucks yeah. and Who says pounds? bucks? Five bucks? Yeah, give me five bucks. Three bucks? Like they always say, like, you look like a thousand bucks. <laughs> You know? Maybe they say that to you, Matt. Have Uh-oh. you never heard someone <laughs> use the word bucks? That's how Matt gets cat calls. <laughs> you look like a thousand bucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they don't say that to me, Matt. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> you look expensive. Thanks, babes. Thanks, Thanks babes. babes. <laughs> Thanks, babes. I love Thanks, babes. British words. What's your favorite British show then? Besides Love Island. I mean, Bake Off. Is a different I'm, I'm Bake Off. Bake, uh, Bake Off. off. <laughs> Great British Bake Off. Yeah. Yes. Bake Off. Yes. Love. Have the you seen show. the Great Pottery Throwdown though? <gasps> I've no. heard about it. Oh my God, you have to watch it. So okay, good. I hear it's great. <laughs> it's in the same vein the as the Great British Bake Off, mm-hmm. except they're making pottery clay. with clay. Mm-hmm. And the process is so crazy. And one of the judges, if someone does a really good job, he like ugly cries. No way. He's like, I'm uh, just so proud of you. It's so beautiful. You made this for nothing. Uh, wow. wow. Yeah. That's so kind of So it's kind of like the handshake. It's kind of like the version of the handshake. <laughs> a hall poly but with crying, handshake. Hall poly with crying handshake. is so much harder yeah. than a handshake. Yeah. True. Incredible. True. Yeah. He is very emotional. Okay, he's moved by art. Okay, I add it to your list. You've got a you've uh, got a lot okay, of TV viewing time ahead of you, Rachel. But honestly, she's getting a perm. She's great watching. pottery she is going to the top of the list, and then the perm. I'm really curious. What if I'm very HBO. ugly though? What if this yeah. was the moment I decided to ruin good. my yeah, life? We'll just wear hats. Yeah. Okay. What? And the wedding's kind of far away, so there's time for it to fall. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. I'll do it with you. I've been thinking okay. about it. We're talking about the perms. I'm so excited. Want more perm. I've been time. About I'm going to do it too. Maggie, I'll just get another piercing Maggie. with you. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. You have to wait. I know. You have to do things that can't be seen. I yeah, know. no new changes. No, no new changes. changes. Mm-mm. I mean, we all told you not to get your nipples pierced and you just insisted. Well, you said I could get a piercing with you. So I, like, go big or go home. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> go nips or go home. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god Matt. what a honeymoon reveal that would be i mean because yes. you know we're saving it for the honeymoon <laughs> <laughs> ouchie <Hello>. whoa <laughs> You're like hello <laughs> hello <laughs> margaret the virgin yes. <laughs> so you and zach are getting matching pierces on the honeymoon is what i'm hearing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So getting your nipples pierced on the honeymoon. exactly okay i mean nothing Just clearing it up for love. everyone Except more like, like an opal piercing. piercing. You want to know something <laughs> deeply fucked up though? Beautiful. If we were to film that for the channel, we could show Zach getting a nipple piercing, but we could not show Maggie. What the fuck is up with that? Yeah. America's like messed up. Demonetized either way because it's technically like a medical procedure. There's needles. Um, yeah. Is mm. it the needles? Get it sponsored. Potentially, sure. Yeah, I get sponsored. Mm-hmm. Sponsored by studs. <laughs> Majuri. 
much electric. <laughs> The body electric. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Matt, as yeah. our most tatted and pierced boy in the room, mm. Uh, mm. what's your favorite British show? <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite British show? Um, I actually, that's really hard. You, know, you just, watch a lot. Yeah, that, I feel like that's when I'm by, when I watch TV alone, mm-hmm. that's what I usually go to, mm-hmm. you know, is, is British oh, shows damn. or like Nordic crime drama stuff. Ooh. I love Danish people. Yeah, it's you just like Danish the treat. accents are so interesting and like the everything just all the colors are so cool colors, you know, mm-hmm. like you still like put steely. off by us Americans in our yeah. entertainment. He's yeah, like, I must go somewhere else. Yeah, too bright, too dramatic, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Just have those nice, cool, calming killings, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what are your top like? So Marcella. Oh, Marcella is a good like one. What's like your top five? Oh. Yeah, Marcella is a good one. Um, oh my Where God, are just, you like, watching that? Mar- Marcella's on Netflix, on Netflix okay. actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering but why Netflix most things is are on not Amazon me. Prime. <clears throat> okay. Honestly. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite ones was Broadchurch. <gasps> yeah. There's like two or three seasons of that. That's that's really good, you know? And then I just finished one called Hidden. Mm. What was it? It was really good. Is it a spoiler? <sighs> yeah, they're like uh, some guy is like abducting and hiding women in his basement and his mother is like helping him. Oh my God. And they live in the middle of no place. And it's like this community trying to find out like what's happening. And there's all this drama. It's yeah, it's good. But that's why it's hidden. You know, she's hidden in his basement. Mm -hmm. Did you ever watch that one? Like the five, the limited series that was about like the little boy that was kidnapped and then he came back later Mm -mm. or they found his DNA at like a crime scene later. That one was pretty good. It had the guy from uh, Handmaid's Tale. The husband, who I didn't know was British. The husband. I feel like people are secretly British these days, and it's really alarming when you find out. And their accents are, their American accents are so good, and you're just like, Mm -hmm. wow. The elocution, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you listen to true crime podcasts or anything? No. No. You only like the Nordic fiction. Yeah, and I were actually talking about this yesterday. I only watch it on TV and he only listens to it in podcasts. Because yeah. I listen Never to the, the podcast. Other. Eugene and yeah. I listen to all the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's Eugene and I have heard every single one podcasts. and a lot of the special offshoots too. Yeah. 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 I love it. I was a big oh, wow. crime junkies fan. And then people on TikTok were like, this is exploitative of people's murders. And then I felt bad about listening to it. Yeah. But sometimes it um, helps cases. Yeah, I don't like the one, like there was one I tried to listen to, not to like shit on other podcasts, I won't say its name, but in the first episode, it's, it, everyone knows what it was, it's like the most famous like murder podcast. Okay. Mm-hmm. In the very first episode, they were like joking about this LA um, thing that happened where this, I think he was a motorcyclist, got an accident and he like died and his body like flew up on like a sign mm-hmm. and they were like joking about it and laughing about it and I was like, I had to turn it off because I was like, this is not how you should be discussing human. Someone's death. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't feel like Crime Junkies does that. No, I feel like Crime Junkies really waffles between um, like really old cases. Um, A lot of them are like very old, very like before DNA testing, whatever. I mean, it's crazy what you used to be able to get away with. Yeah. (gasps) Like it's Uh And then... um, Normally, if it's a more modern case, there will be like either a number or a helpline or an email or something at the end if you have any information whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Um, and then the most famous ones they cover as well. Um, yeah. So I, found, uh, I mean, I'm sure some people are offended by that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cases in investigative journalism where they've been able to reopen cases just on uncovering mm-hmm. new evidence. Mm-hmm. And Crime Junkies does make it a point to um, cover cases of usually non-white uh, people that got mm. a lot less media mm-hmm. attention mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. as a way of like surfacing them for those families who are still wondering about like whatever happened. They'll be like totally cold cases that they're like, hey, this never made the media around. So we dug into it and mm. here's what we can tell you, which oh. I think is really lovely. Mm. They do that a lot actually. Yeah. You guys, we really went all over the place on this episode. Um, uh-huh. Thank you for joining our journey. Thank you. Maybe leave some recommendations down below. Of what's shows your favorite rom com? What you else love? do we need to watch? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite horror movie? What's your favorite rom com? What's your favorite perm? What else should what's be on favorite? my list? Uh, what should be on the list? 
Yeah. It's a long Rachel list. needs help. A lot of help. Yeah. We're going to title this episode, Rachel needs to connect to the youths and get a perm. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's first perm. <laughs> <gasps> Let's do a live podcast during the perm and um, we'll just bring, we'll bring you guys with us. Love. Okay. Smell-o-vision. Smell-o-vision. Yes. For, for K, for D. Four okay, yes. senses. Four DX. <laughs> Four DX. Um, thank you so much for sitting with us. Um, Do the voice. The annoying voice from the top of the episode. Oh, thank you guys. I don't think we were filming for that, I don't were think we? we were. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, that's just for me. No, no, no. Just, just personal. Just personal. Silly goof. Okay, sorry. Thank you guys so much for sitting with us today. We always love chatting with you. Drop some comments below. Send us emails. Like, subscribe, download wherever you get your potties. Uh, make sure you're washing your hands. Uh, get all the shots you can get. The new Omicron booster is out. Monkeypox, they've opened up availability. Uh, so check and see if you're available for that Flu one. Blue shot time. Blue shot time. Around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Polio's on the rise. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Becky. Measles. Becky. We're circling yeah. the drain here, Becky. Measles is on the rise. Becky. Um, I don't know. Vaccinate your kids for polio uh, if they're able. Uh, yeah. Pee after sex. Be nice to people. Tip your servers. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we should do a second Bye. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.